So, I just arrived at Kigali right now at my Airbnb. Let me tell you, our bus was supposed was left Kampala at 8 p.m. Okay, I've just reached at my Airbnb in Kigali. Our bus was just our bus left Kampala at exactly 8 p.m. I'm telling you this is the first and the last time I'm boarding modern coast. Like the, it's it's hysterical. The lack of customer service, like it's so poor, like I don't even I can't even believe like I experienced this. Like we they gave us anxiety, panic. And the feeling like we are we're gonna be left stranded at the border out of nowhere like this whole video needs a whole video by itself I already have a vlog outside to make you like the details like I even voice recorded everything but let me just tell you tell you my whole experience I had a fear in me the, like coming because the end goal the destination was Rwanda, Kigali, Rwanda. So from Nairobi to Kigali, Rwanda straight. But there's an inkling in me, like nowadays I just pray to my God to guide me and give me like guidance on things that I, like I pray about things. So I'm thankful like it could have gone worse, but at least I, I was able, we were all able on the bus to remain calm, steady and just focus on the positive, and there was not so much positive you know the thing is that the thing that sucks is you feel like it's like corruption and i don't know like you feel like like things are not going the way they should and it's so simple it's not even the road the roads were really well like the roads from nairobi to here straight nairobi to kampala to kigali the roads are okay there's no potholes like the the road is okay. It's just the services and the customer care services. I do not know what is wrong with modern course. I do not completely know. I do not know like if they like I don't know. And when you ask you have to like go deeper to ask questions that you don't even get answers for. Like I'm telling you we get stuck, like we get stuck at each of the border. In Kampala border, Busia, entering Uganda from Nairobi, we stayed at for two hours. I don't even remember very well, two and a half hours or something. But that not that is not even the problem. Let's, let me let's go back to where it all started. So I was to book a f um, Nairobi to Kigali, but something just told me no, Kemunto, just try. Nairobi to Kampala and it will be an opportunity to even see Kampala because I've always wanted to go to Kampala because I've been to Mbare before, Mbale, Mbare, Mbare before Uganda near Busia Bhutan, yeah. Okay, so I said, okay, let me reach out to Modern Coast. I trust Modern Coast because I've been going with Modern Coast since like the beginning. You guys have seen my videos from everyone and I feel this is my obligation because I've put out there the way modern cost is a good customer service yes it was at that time now it's something different i feel like the administration is different or something is just missing like this is not the modern cost that i know that i use i've been using modern cost to go to mombasa several times and i've never experienced this lack of customer care service like okay so i said okay now let me just ask how long is from um, nairobi to kigali straight and i was told 24 a full day 24 hours so i was like hey, the way things run in kenya 24 hours that's like minimum it could go for two to three days let me tell you it is true you can uh, my next dog my next passenger they were going to kigali it took them three full Everything days to reach Kigali from Nairobi to Kigali because there were so many issues so many irregularities like you don't even know you don't even understand how this can happen to a big company like modern cost so okay so let's start where my journey started 
So I booked, I said, okay, let me just book uh, Nairobi to Kampala. It's 12 to 13 hours. Okay, cool. I book. Our bus was to leave at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. on Saturday. Guess what? Our bus left at 8 p.m. in Nairobi. It was just sitting there. Sitting there at the bus office, booking office, sitting there. And every passenger had arrived. So we, I started noticing irregularities, but I said, okay, I've already paid my 3,700. Let me just keep quiet, let me move on. Go and check, go and check my vlog. I've done a vlog about, about that. I'm not gonna like show any more videos here. I'm tired, completely tired. Right now I'm sitting in my Kigali uh, Airbnb. Okay, so it starts uh, going from uh, Nairobi, it left Nairobi at 8 p.m. exactly. So we move. Can you tell me why this uh, bus is picking up passengers left, right, next door center? Like every stop can get me the big customers. Where? Big customers. And it's not even modern cost offices. Okay, that's not a problem. Everyone, the drivers, whoever it is, they have to get little change. Okay. But the way they were moving slow like a tortoise, like heaving, like a tortoise, complete tortoise. And I was like, no way. No way, this is happening to me. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah. So it picks passengers up, it picks passengers every stop. And they were just so lazy. I, I hate using that word, but it's the drivers, they were so lazy. And I didn't even tell you the cargo they carried so much cargo now i remember i was telling everyone who was asking me well how are you traveling to kampala or kigali and sabers and they were shocked they were like good luck i didn't know what they mean from now on spot if i want to travel anywhere no because i love road trips you know i love road trips so much but it's so sad like I can't experience it anymore because from now on, for, I even felt like crying. Like, why am I this? Why don't I have money for a flight ticket? You know, so I was so mad at myself actually. And next time, I thought to myself, if I'm traveling, I'm just booking a ticket. Like, right now, I'm just gonna look at flight tickets from Rwanda to to Kenya straight. It's just because it's like $500. Can you imagine? I don't know why it's expensive to fly within each other's country. It's like discouraging people to fly to neighboring countries. Okay, let's move. So we reach, um, the cargo is so full, the car is going like, now the car has service problem, like complete service problem. So okay, we move like tortoise, like tortoise, like a place that could have taken us eight hours, took us like 14 hours. Like I'm not even like, I, my mind is everywhere. Like I can't even believe this is me like suffering like this. Anyway, let's move. We reach at Kampala border, at the Busia border. We wait, what are we waiting for? I do not know. We've been searched, we've been cleared for migration. It's time for, to move. We are not moving. Why? The bus is missing a ticket or something. Okay. I don't know where they find the ticket. Okay, we have to go now. Another one hour wasted. Like completely waste of time. Okay. From Busia to from Busia border to Kampala City, it's supposed to be four hours drive. It ended up being eight hours drive. Tell me why. The bus was moving like a tortoise because I think there's hills in Kampala. No, I don't, I don't think there hill, there's hills in Kampala. It moves slowly, slowly, like tortoise. 60, I think it was going for 30 or 20. Because it had a problem, like it needed service. It had an overload. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. Ask. I don't know. I'm just telling you my experience so that you don't suffer like I did. Okay, we move. We accept our situation. And I was so scared about my life actually. I was like, Kemuto, this is not it. This is not it. You do not need to suffer like this. It's okay. We reach Kampala City. 
I think uh, my friend, uh, not my friend, my the past person who I was sitting next to uh, was going, coming to Gigali Street. They had to sit there up to, like, I don't even, that's his story, but all moral of the story, they ended up reaching Kigali after three days. So, my story. So, stupid me, I had already, like, being, like, safe Nancy, I already booked uh from Kampala modern course I didn't know like when I was when I arrived at Nairobi to board my bus to Kampala I booked at the office I said okay I don't want to deal with the exchange money I have this money let me book but at least oh I didn't tell you I booked for I think vapor I don't know if it's first class there's nothing about vapor first class or, or anything about that bus the bus is old as old it's better you book normal seats and save your money. Like the difference will catch up, and they were even better. So I just booked the normal seat. So we booked. We were supposed. My bus was supposed to leave tomorrow yesterday at 8 p.m. Okay, it moved really fast. Then the bus is not. It's not branded. It's called. It's just written private, like with a board private at the front. And it's blue. It's not even modern cost. I don't know, like modern cost, like hired it to take us. I don't know. So I was already pissed. I was like, here we go again. So when I enter, I said, okay, let me just be positive. Let me just be positive. I entered. I saw the seats were even better than modern cost. I said, okay, now we are moving. This positivity, but this positivity queen is really working. Things are working on my side so i sit the seat is even better like it was okay the car is okay the driver is kenyan good it's going fast okay nothing is stopping us we are going okay so we go really well we go really well we slept the car was nice the road was clean and we almost arrived at kabari i don't even know the name so i'm sorry when i'm editing i'll write them here if i'm saying them wrong so we arrive at Kabare, we are arrested. Our bus is arrested. Why? It's missing some papers. We stay there at the bus, where the police station, Kabare police station, for good hours. Nobody is telling us anything. Nobody is explaining us anything. Nothing. So we wait, we wait. So we started complaining, like, what's happening, what's happening, we need to go, we need to go. So I don't know how the papers re-emerged or whatever, we were let go from the police station. Because they were even threatening, like, we should, like, uh, get our own means of transportation to continue with the journey. We were like, no way, we paid so much money for this bus, that's not happening, return our money. So whatever happened, happened. And then we were trying to call the numbers that tell us to call if uh, there's anything or emergency. Nobody picks. Nobody picks at modern cost. Zero customer service. So thank God we, we pick up and we go. So we are going, we are going from Bari. Everything is good. We are in Katuna, Rwanda, uh, Uganda and Rwanda border called Katuna. We are there. One full hour, nothing. One full hour, nothing. Then after one full hour, I don't even know the time. It might be more or less. I was tired of counting. After that, uh, we alight, we go our bags checked. By the way, don't ever enter Rwanda with plastics. And Kenya, no plastics. That's a good thing anyway. So, I mean, the, uh, we've already checked our bags and everything. So I have to go to 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 the immigration of Uganda to stamp exit. Everything is nice. Like I'm telling you, Uganda people, I love you guys so much. Like everyone from person who, who is servicing you from a street, from the border, guy, from everyone. Like everyone is super, super like welcoming the guy like at the migration of uganda said like oh you're going you're from kenya you're going welcome back to uganda have a good journey you're going to run to run and have a good stay there so i'll get stamp of exit so now i'm, I'm going to get a stamp of what do you say stamp of approval for stamp for stamp for entry in rwanda so guys um I'm there, I'm waiting on the line. I don't know why, because me and ladies, we do not go hand in hand. I don't know what I did to ladies. Like most 
okay like stranger ladies like i don't know like i don't know what vibe i give like i don't know <laughs> i don't know if i'm intimidating or the way i carry myself with ace and confidence with class that intimidates female strangers who are insecure and feel beneath so and there and like i don't know why i went to this late discount i could have went to this wait someone's calling me hello hi hi how are you so where were we okay so uh i could have went to this guy this immigration from the rwanda side immigration no i had to go to the lady i forgot <laughs> so i went to the lady the lady just has attitude from the get-go i give her my passport and then she talks to me in rwandese i tell her i'm not rwandese i don't i don't understand and she started having an attitude and then she said something and then I say, huh, huh? And she was like, like literally rolled her eyes and she was like, what do you do for a living? I tell her I'm an entrepreneur because I don't like telling people, like it's not their business to know exactly what I am. Okay, I'm a full-time content creator, but yeah, I'm a full-time entrepreneur. <laughs> so, uh, she's like huh huh because i think she doesn't understand proper English, like the word entrepreneur so i said i'm a self-employed and she's like how long are you gonna stay in rwanda i said so six seven days she's like where are you staying i said okay let me check so i'm checking on my phone so when i'm checking on my phone I realized I did not download the PDF thing that they give when you book uh, from Airbnb. Uh, I, I did not download previously, so I, I was like, I did. I didn't have like any internet or data bundles because I'm not buying any SIM card, guys. I'm not staying here long enough to buy a SIM card. If I was staying longer, like two weeks plus, I would have bought it. But I'm not buying any other like phone because the place where I am, they have like I make sure like the Airbnb that I'm going to. They have Wi-Fi, so when I'm in the room, okay, I'll have Wi-Fi. Cool. So they're like, she's like, there's Wi-Fi outside there, and I'm like, huh? There's Wi-Fi outside there, so I'm like wondering if there's Wi-Fi. I can't get it also here, so I'm like looking for Wi-Fi. There's Wi-Fi outside there, so I go outside. So when I go outside, this uh, guy from like a uh, customer care service from Modern Coastal tells me, okay, go and borrow this. I don't know if it's a hospital or whatever, like uh, Wi-Fi password so that I can also I download. Good, okay. So uh, from Uganda, of course. No, not Rwanda. No, 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 not Rwanda. I don't like. I feel like people don't know Rwanda people really well. I don't. I don't think so. I know Rwanda people are gonna come to me, but this is my first impression inside your country. So let me speak. This is my experience. So we went. Uh, they have this hairy feeling. I can feel it, like hairy. Like I hope they prove me wrong the six days that i'm here the six days that i'm here so uh the guy from the uganda gave me the password i download the pdf i take it to her you think the problem where oh by the way she remained with my passport i was so scared to tell her give me my passport because i was like i don't know what is gonna happen next so i was like she can't do anything with my passport because there's cameras everywhere so i come back i tell her Mind you had to line again the line and the line are long one thing they don't tell you about the borders long we had to cross two borders busia and katuna border keep that in mind so i give her like the pdf a form from my from my phone to check she's now checking like my phone like iphone I guess I don't know like I don't know why people think about iPhone people I actually bought an iPhone not to brag I bought an iPhone for my job for my content creation because there's some place you cannot vlog with a whole full camera so I use my phone okay let's move 
So we are there. We are there. Where? We are. What was I about to say? So we were. So we were there. How can I say? So we were. I, I, I give her my phone. She checks the name. She she takes her time. She takes her time, and then she's like. Which street in Rwanda are you going to, or is the home located that? It's like I'm in school. Lady, madam, I'm just, I don't even know anything about Kigali. How will I know? Like, of course, I know when I was booking it, but it's not stuck in my mind. There's so many things in my mind. I'm like, it's, I didn't want to tell her it's there written there because I know already the game she was playing. So I tell her, okay, let me check. Give me my phone, I check, I tell you. So I, I take, it's written there on the PDF, KG. Where's the street? KG 509 or something. I told her it's KG 605. She takes. Then she scrolls, she scrolls, she's taking her sweet time, like more than 20 minutes just to. I don't know what to do. What? Because, guys, if you don't know, like all East African people, like Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda, Tanzania, I think also Burundi, Ethiopia. We do not need like visa so it's easy like easy like just check my passport and it's done right no 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 no, it's not done then she stamp it so i think we are done right we're going to go to the bus we go we move no they found something else like our bus don't have alliances what license they do not tell you you have to like milk this information from them we wait for another two three i don't even know how many hours like i i just put nose and nose everywhere anyway just check my vlog you will see like more positive side of if i find i know i'll find positive sides of rwanda because everyone has been talking about rwanda just check the vlogs out there but that's my first impression of rwanda with the people you guys know already that i travel for fast people culture food and just nature so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and um i'll end this video by telling you guys if you book more than cost book it at your own risk i thank god i did not book because they were trying to persuade me in nairobi to book kigali to nairobi like that time and it's five fucking thousand I'm so thankful I did not book that. So I'm thinking I wanna check online and see if I can book a flight because this I am not going through this again. Meaning to a mungo. I am God's child. I deserve I deserve more. I deserve I tried it. I tried to accommodate. Like I'm not budgy. I try to work with my budget, but sometimes you just have to see what works. Okay guys, I'm gonna take a shower. I love this Airbnb. Watch out for Rwanda Blood. I think I'm gonna go live today. Watch out for Rwanda's vlogs and because this Wi-Fi is stable <laughs> finally. So these are my impressions of Uganda. I'm gonna do it 